I think as individuals, what we can do to prevent racism from happening is to, to kind of start with the children, I think, more than anything. Um, I think we do a lot at school where we are exposed to different cultures, and I think kids do even more of it now. Um, like with international days at school, and kids bringing different foods, and I, I know I did that at school. Um, but I think it's about kind of having more of an open communication about acceptance and tolerance and um, giving children an opportunity to go with their own values and their own instincts about people. I, I kind of think back to kindy and anyone, it was like Sally and that was Ben and it wasn't Sally's Asian or Ben's Indian. It was just, they were who they were and that was it. And I, I remember year one was when racism kind of kicked in a bit. And then all of a sudden it was very obvious that we were all different, you know, or like for me, as you know, I was different. And I think if we kind of actually foster children and their values, they're usually quite bang on about things and let them grow and, and formulate that. I think you've got to be really careful, even as adults, just even making comments about people, you know, just generally, you, you don't understand how much kids absorb that. And then they take that on and then they take that to school with them. And I feel like that's a, a great start. Um, within the community, I think it's like it's a bit of a bigger issue and, and it's a harder one to, to kind of communicate with because a lot of the time I have people say stuff to me and then go, oh, but I don't mean you. And I think, well, actually you do. But if you're friends with me and you still have those, those views, then what hope do we have? You know, if you are exposed to people that you care about and you love and you still think the way you do and you are still as insular as you are, you know, so I, I can only really think kids and I can't really think far beyond that in, in, in any other way. I think they're the answer.